Hello everyone, and welcome to this, a new episode of the Photo Editor. In this episode, I will be editing a very iconic Australian still life, the bucket of drinks left over from a barbecue in the ice bucket the day after, as you can tell by the lack of visible ice in this picture. As always, if you like the content of this program, please hit the thumbs up button and tap subscribe and the bell notification so you can learn about future content. And we'll carry on with this episode. Now, I took about three images of this scene using uh, different levels of focus, deciding on what looked better in the uh, final result. And I like this one with the cappy uh, top quite prominent in the middle. So we'll go over to Silver Effects Pro now and uh, convert it to the black and white and see what we can come up with. Now because the cappy top in the middle is so prominent, uh, it's a big deal that we make that look as impressive as possible. I'd like it to be quite contrasty if I can. Now the blue does make it quite dark, green uh, a little more gentle, uh, red really washes it out, green, sorry if you hear the dogs in the background, yep, let's see, want it to be quite high contrast. I think it's quite dramatic because we have all these different labels and they uh, react quite well to contrast. So we've gone now with the Agfa X Pro, APX Pro 100 and uh, just to up the grain a little bit. Okay, so I like to have the cappy in the middle quite high contrast. Okay, so we have all the different um, colors of glass, not to mention metal, which reacts well to quite high clarity. So we'll start small, we'll work on the cap, get a nice and prominent looking. This picture is interesting because it has so many small features, but the focus is relatively even. Although we have this uh, cappy bottle in the middle as kind of the hero of our image. Which suits me, I do love a good gin and tonic with a good cappy. Uh, for those who don't know, cappy is a brand of tonic, uh, one of the best you can have, I think. Ooh, I do like the uh, stronger black on the around the word cappy there. Yeah. We want to get a good in contrast. The... The black around the word cap is still a, a little splodgy if you go really close up, so I'll try and fix it up later. But let's um, do some similar adjustments to the other uh, bottle cap designs. I love a lot of old style um, advertising with the logos. I think uh, if I sort of lived in the Mad Men era, I'd have uh, had great fun being one of the hand illustrators producing some of those logos back in the day. The fun thing with shiny surfaces like Coke cans is that often when you start going um, up on the texture and clarity, you can actually, or even uh, up in the shadow, you can even find a lot of extra 
reflections and detail that you didn't even really know were there. So that's quite often why I like to have um, a couple of different levels of exposure, a couple of different uh, types of uh, shots with um amount of light let in to give myself that flexibility. I need to do, need to do something about the edges of the bucket soon. Try and add a bit of extra white, really make uh, the picture pop. Now, texture is adding a little bit, but obviously because we're talking about smooth glass and liquid, it doesn't perhaps add as much significant effect as we'd see on things like fabric and fur. The shape, the molding of the word on that beer bottle is going to be interesting. One thing to be careful of without adding a lot of clarity is that quite often it can um, make more prominent than you'd like uh, small specks of um, grit and the like that may have been on the object that you didn't notice. And so you don't want to uh, over-focus on those details too much. That's why often um, when doing an edit I like to before I have declared tools down, uh, look at the exported image uh, quite um, blown up and see if there's any little flaws in the picture I didn't notice. Not that I uh, do a lot of exhibitions, but I uh, like to think if I were to do large prints of my work in a gallery space, uh, would I be happy with all the details uh, blown up to a really prominent size? And I think that's a good uh, uh, logic to approach in um, how you choose your subject and also what you do with it. Uh, once again, sorry if you hear the dogs in the background, they've got a bit of um, cabin fever from us not being able to take them to the park as much because of COVID. And uh, so they can go as uh, stir crazy as the humans sometimes. All right, now just uh, adding some uh, highlight to the edging of the bucket and... Still want to do some spot alteration on the uh, cap. So increase that black, even if it looks a... Logos is one, in especially in a very um, dramatic picture like this, or a, a, the subject isn't that dramatic, but when you're going for a high contrast look, a lot of logos can be more forgiving of going uh, for excessive uh, contrast of uh, high darkness and um, highlights. And even in some of the labels where they're a bit further out of the focal range it it's good to try and up their um contrast just a little bit it actually helps them stand out a bit okay not too much white it otherwise it looks um too graining and washed out
see where else we can add texture and clarity to add a bit of emphasis to the to the bottles It almost starts to look like a sketch when you really go high on the texture and clarity like that. If this were a human subject, I probably wouldn't want to do that. But uh, you sort of um, learn to embrace it on inanimate objects like these. As always, make sure that you have the brightness on your computer screen up full when doing this sort of work. Even if it, even if it means you can only really edit um, when you're attached to the power mains, it's uh, an important thing to part of your tool to have at your disposal to be able to see everything properly in full brightness. Again, that goes to the principle of um, would you be willing to see your picture printed large scale in a gallery space? Um, uh, and that's a good way to judge your choices. Add a bit more reflection to the bottle so you can see the reflection from the Coke can in it. I'll be a little more regional focused on the bottle now because uh, there are some dust, specks and flaws in the grass, glass that are showing up more that I'm not liking, which is a shame because I'm really liking the big reflections. So I may have to do some spot altering on the, on the, on the flecks that are showing up. I think if I had a bar or something, this would be a fun picture to have behind uh, the scene. For those who don't uh, know, that is a, um, especially if you're watching uh, from outside Australia, that uh, bottle, bottle in the upper right is a a bottle of Crown Lager and so it has quite a nice goldish foil wrapping at the top. Yeah. So yes, overall I'm quite happy with this image now. Um, unfortunately the Crown Lager is um, still a little dusty looking in some spots. And if anyone is um, uh, wondering why there's no Fosters in this um, bucket, that's because uh, that's an inaccurate stereotype about Australian drinking habits. Uh, that hasn't been a staple of the Australian drinker since probably the Croc Dundee days. Got a bit of a hammered texture of the metal bucket in the background, even though that's only a very small part in the back. I'll see if I can do something with it. Okay, too much, not too much light. Don't want it to overpower the rest of the image. Throttle back on the effect a bit, and so it's a bit more even now. Okay. See, so yeah, that's a uh, fairly well sp spread on the uh, uh, lighting and texture. So now we'll export. Using our name, we'll go for Australian still life. Pick where I want my signature.
Yep, so that's the uh, exported image now. See, so yeah, it's unfortunate about the dustiness on the bottle. So maybe I should um go back and actually do some fixing up on that just that section because it, like even on my full computer screen, it's annoyingly obvious. Let alone if I were to do a large print. So I'd probably do something about that. Maybe um up the black and see if that is an improvement. Mm, yeah. So yeah, zoom in close. Do a bit of a fixer up. See where the red highlights are that indicate which um, existing edits um, are where. So I'm going to reduce the clarity a bit. Up the black, still the spots are showing quite a bit. Hmm, that's that's unfortunate. Yeah, so that one is quite high on texture and clarity. And that's the other thing, when you're doing multiple edits, sometimes the sort of the circle of where you're working can overlap and that really exaggerates the um, altering you're doing in the sort of the crossover sections of some Venn diagrams you accidentally make. Yeah, so that's uh, a lot more natural looking now. And we still have some of the coconut sugar reflection, which is nice. Yeah, so, um, good to group the effects together, but sometimes, but also to know when to have an isolated spot so you're not sort of dragging one alteration with the rest. Yeah, same trouble with the Coke can. So just um to not make it too gritty looking. Because we're talk talking about a picture of metal and glass here, you kind of want that really shiny look all over. See if we can do anything more for the beer bottle. I do like near the wording itself where it's not so dusty having that um, high clarity. So we'll see if we can um, just focus on that region. But not, not necessarily too much. See what we can do with that deep shadow in the words. Yeah, it's a bit better. Overall, I'm quite happy with the image, I think. So we've um, reduced that sort of that really stand out spot with the with the dusty beer bottle and um, I'm not going to hold on to the old ex export I didn't um, bother me too much with the dust so we have a nicer version here so let's take a look at the big file 
Yeah, that looks pretty uh, good, I think. You can still see a couple of um, dust marks on the beer bottle, but it's not too prominent. And the uh, big thing is we see all the nice shine from the Coke cans and also the prominent Cappy label in the middle, uh, which which I quite like. It sort of balances the image out. So yeah, I'm, uh, I, I quite like this image. It's uh, nothing too pretentious. It's uh, just a... Uh, very easy going still life that uh, a lot of um, bars I could imagine using a similar type of decoration in their environment. So I hope you enjoyed watching. My name is Matthew Dutzer and I look forward to sharing with you again a new episode of The Photo Editor. As always, we release two episodes a week now. And thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.